Good morning everybody from St Anne's on Sea. Um, we've come down to the beach really early because the temperatures are just horrendous at the moment. Cooper's really suffering. Um, and I've just dropped um, Porky and Porklet off at the station um, because they are on their way to London. So I dropped them off at seven o'clock. Um, they're going to London to watch a show. Um, uh, what's it called? We will, we will rock you. I think it's the Queen show. So they're going to be in London for the day. Um, so we dropped them off at the station at seven, and then Cooper and I came straight down here to the beach. So for anybody who doesn't know, if you've all heard of Blackpool Tower, anyone who hasn't seen it, that in the centre of the screen that looks like the Eiffel Tower is Blackpool Tower, and then slightly to the well, the left of it as you're looking at it, that curved thing is the big roller coaster, um, and it is called the big one. So, if ever anybody is, um, you know, you hear somebody saying, Oh, I went to Blackpool and I rode on the big one, they're not being rude, they're actually talking about that. Come on, dude, a good boy. So, we're going to try and have a paddle in the sea. It's not quite, um, well, high tide is in about three and a half hours. Um, I didn't think the tide was going to be this far out. It's always further out at St Anne's. I dropped them off at Blackpool North uh, train station. So I came back along the promenade and um, it's it, it's a lot, it comes in a lot closer. It doesn't go out quite as far at Blackpool than it does here, but you know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So I thought, um, he's just had a jellyfish actually. I will cut that in because I videoed it and I was trying to stop him eating the damn thing. Um, I was a little bit worried at first. Come on, Coops. I was a little bit worried at first because there are a lot of um, news stories at the moment about, because of the high temperatures, that a lot of places around the uh, coastline of the UK are seeing um, jellyfish we wouldn't normally see, so such as Portuguese man of war. Um, you know, they're washing up. And as most of you will know, if you get stung by one of those, you, you're really going to know about it. Um, so, have you found some water? Have you? Good boy, look at him. He loves it being, he loves the seaside. Um, so, yeah, that there's, I think these temperatures at the moment, they're just causing, um, they're causing a lot of people a lot of problems, especially with dogs. Um, I've got an invitation to go out later on for a walk with my friend, um, but I just said, I'm, I think I'm going to have to miss it. It's going to be too hot for Cooper. You know, he's an idiot. He doesn't know when to stop or slow down. So he will just carry on running and running and running. Ooh, oh, that was a bit deeper than I thought until he, um, he falls over. He's a bit of a knob like that. So... I've got that offer. I'm also running my next door neighbour, Margaret. She's going over to her son's. He lives in uh, St Michael's on the Wire, as most of you will have heard of, because that's uh, St Michael's on the Wire is where the whole Nicola Bully tragedy unfolded. Um, and I've, I've been down there a few times over the last um, few months. It's a lovely little village. Nice place to walk your dog, believe it or not. You know, me and Cooper like it there along the Wire, but um, it's been quite sad seeing the circus that it's turned into and a lot of the locals are really pissed off with it you know you've got your uh, your ghouls so um yeah it's and apparently today there's some form of a festival or carnival that's going to be going through st michael's i think they're closing the road off about lunchtime so i said that i'd run margaret you know early well for her anyway probably about 10 o'clock are you waiting for this ball Okay, give me a second, guys, because obviously King Cooper needs to be uh, have some attention. Ready, go. <laughs> so, just bringing him. Oh, we're nearly we're nearly at the sea. We're nearly at the sea now, um, so we can have a little swim. Uh, he's just needed it and, you know, I've kind of been stuck at night to go into um, places like Martin Mere, just so I can, I can get him, you know, some shaded walks um, and that's the only thing about living out here, there aren't that many places locally that have got some shaded walks, you can go to 
um, Salisbury Woods, which is a very short walk. It's not enough for Cooper. That's kind of all right to get your dog out of the car and let it go and have a wee. But it's not enough for exercise. Um, there's another dog over here coming bombing over. Um, and then uh, the, uh, the Stanley Park. So, oh. <laughs> oh, we've got a little dog coming over. Say hello. Hello. Come on, Coops. Come on. So, um, he's quite happy if he's got somebody chasing him around. Um, so, yeah, I, I'm i going to get the dog in the sea. I'll let him have a, a, a swim if he wants to. And uh, I will hopefully catch you all later. I'm supposed to be going live tonight, but it might be slightly earlier than normal. Um, just purely because um, I might have to uh, make a call to the train station to pick them two up. I don't know what time they're getting back. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens. So yeah, okay. Until later, bye everybody from me and Poopy Doopy. Hey, <coughs> what's he do? <coughs> Bugger off, you freak! Oh, I see what you're trying to tell me. I wondered what he was sniffing at then. You're not going to eat this one, though, are you? Because you got stinky last time. Jellyfish, bastard. Um, he usually eats them, but I think he, he learned his lesson up at Southern S uh, last year when he ate one and it stung him. Um, he's a filthy sod. Uh, I, oh, he's a soggy doggy. So he's just been in the sea. And we're going back to the car now because I want something to eat. Hang on, I think we've got something on the lens. Right, ready? You see, at the moment, the high tide is going to be like tea time and nearly lunch time and then tea time. So it's, uh, it's way too busy down here. But yeah, we're going to go in for some tea. Here you go, boy. Now he's choking because he's drunk salt water.